Have you Monday morning, we talked about Monday morning quarterbacking a while ago, have you Monday morning quarterback to the 2014 election and gone back and said, okay, here's where it went wrong? Sure. Um, and some of it is more recent. It has finally dawned on me. Um, the easiest thing is, uh, and this is my most recent determination, I went about delivering the first budget wrong. How so? Well, we didn't tell anybody what was coming, did we? <laughs> and we delivered the budget sort of like an indictment. Keep quiet, deliver it, and it hit everybody. You know? Yeah. And it riled everybody up. Now you're talking mostly probably about the education Mostly the education. Items. Right. Yeah. Okay? Riled everybody up. And I made permanent opponents. I don't call them enemies. Permanent opponents. Um... If I had it to do over again, I would have gone out and worked the budget publicly. Say, this is what's coming. You need to know how bad it is. This is what we're finding. We've got all this federal money. It's not there anymore. And really sold or informed everybody, got them ready so it wasn't such a blow right between the eyes. Uh, That's number one. Number two, if you recall, right after we delivered that budget, um... The State Education Association started spending money on TV ads and really went to town on TV ads. I probably should have spent the same type of money, campaign money, not taxpayer money, uh, to respond to it. So we put ourselves behind the eight ball. Those two, I think, would have changed the result of the 14 election. Mm-hmm. The 800-pound gorilla in the room when you talk about your 2014 election, no, don't look around, it's proverbial, um, is uh, Joe Paterno. Not Sandusky, but Joe Paterno and his firing as a factor in the 2014 election. 2010, you won Center County 54 to 45. 2014, 57 to 42, Wolf. A lot of people tagged you because you were... We're with the board of trustees at the time Joe Paterno was fired. Do you? And I was what, the attorney general that started the investigation. And, and, right, but but it wasn't. I, I don't think Sandusky had anything to do with that. You Paterno can't. Se- but you backlash. really can't separate the two because the one leads to the other. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I'll I'll grant you that. Uh, but I I think the firing of Joe Paterno was what fired a lot mm-hmm. of voters up. Have you thought about that? Oh sure. I mean. I think I told you, one guy came up to me. I've had one person come we, up to you me. You said this off the air before yeah. we started recording. I had ahead. one person come up to me after I lost the election in the fall. And uh, came up to me in our grocery store at home. And he was making a beeline right towards me. He went, okay. And uh, he said, you Governor Corbett? I said, yes. He says, we got you. And he pointed to his jacket. And he had a Penn State jacket on. And uh, Okay. Nice to meet you. And then went on my shopping. Uh, so certainly, there there was that impact. But um, two things. I, I go to the investigation. I couldn't duck that investigation. Of course not. Okay. Yeah. I was on the board. Because it was a grand jury matter, I couldn't tell them what was coming. That was difficult. But then we have the night of the vote. And I wasn't there. You were you were by conference call, correct? I was on the yeah. phone in the governor's library in the in the governor's residence, and you know clearly um, conference calls aren't as good as being there in public, and you can't read the room because you can't see the room, and they call for the vote, and I, I mean they they ask for my comments towards the end, and I, this is public; it's been out there before, and I did. I told them, I said, you have to remember the children when you're making this decision. Um, and I wasn't talking about Paterno, but everybody thinks I was. I was talking about the administration. Uh, and they made a decision. Now, when, when that was done, I ended the conversation. I had no idea that they were just going to call Joe Paterno. Had I been there, was a Monday morning quarterback, I was said, no, we have to go there. And if you recall, there was concern about getting there for safety and everything. Yeah, a crowd had grown around the paternal home yeah. at that point. Yeah. Well, if I would have gone there. Had I been there, I would have gone there. As the governor, I would have been able to get in. I would have been able to, and Mr. Paterno, you have to hear what's happened. The, the doing it over phone, I thought, was a mistake. Uh, a lot of mistakes were 
occurred. I don't think there was any malice at all. But sitting here now, six years later, do you still believe that Joe Paterno should have been fired? I told you I didn't vote then. And I'm not voting now. Well, what do you vote? I, I think you, the won't, board, you I, won't weigh in. You won't tell me if you think that that was the right move or not. I I, I don't know that. I'm going to make you wait here a second. That's okay. I've got all the time in the world. It was hard to fathom, even for me, that Mr. Sandusky did what he did. I'm sure it was very difficult for Mr. Petuno to fathom that, too. And you think that that... Um, I'm going to leave it right there. You think that that weighed in there, uh, influenced how Paterno handled it, basically, is what you're saying. You know, I, I, I think he he reported it up, if we recall correctly. To Gary Schultz. Yeah, and, and Linda Kelly, uh, in her, um, if I recall correctly, in the press conference said that he reported it up, and that's why he didn't get charged. And in his mind, he did what he was supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But I can't get you to commit yes or no. He should have been fired. I, you know, I didn't vote. Nobody's going to believe that. I know that. But I didn't vote on it because that was the board's decision. I was on the board. I stopped going to meetings as this investigation got hot. But that was their decision. Yeah. And it's okay to keep that your opinion private still if you want to but I'm, I'm not going to get you to you say you got me like, as far as I'm going <laughs> well, I, gave I didn't it think a I was going to go this far today <laughs> that's alright uh, speaking of putting things on the record it, is there a book in your future you ever, <laughs> you're going to write a book because you know you've not just from governor but like I mentioned attorney general and you had the first stint as attorney general which was the first time we met back in the 90s when you came in for a radio PA roundtable appearance uh, you probably have a lot to say would, would you put it down on paper